Today we are in Naples, Italy and heading down the Amalfi Coast to visit the beautiful town of Sorrento. Join us major sisters as we take in all of the beautiful views of Sorrento, visit a limoncello factory, and try authentic Italian pasta for the first time. Morning guys, I'm Raquel from MH Adventures. Thanks for clicking on this video. It is day five on board MSC Grandiosa, my very first Mediterranean cruise celebrating my 40th birthday. Um, we have arrived in Sorrento. So we are in Sorrento, Italy today. We are up bright and early. Our port time was 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. So real early port day. Um, and we have an excursion plan this morning. So we are getting off, preparing to take um, an excursion with MSC. So um, one thing about Sorrento um, and some of the ports that you might visit in the Mediterranean, Mediterranean um, is that sometimes there's not a whole lot to do right at the port area. You might have to catch a bus ride further out. So we're actually going to be, I believe, going to Naples today um, from Sorrento. So it's about an hour and a half drive to and from, um, but we're gonna be off exploring. So be sure to um, like this video, follow along on this journey, but we are up and getting ready to head out. Also no breakfast this morning, um, probably TMI, but um, we had hibachi and sushi last night. And I don't know if it sat well with me um, all night long. So um, take it easy today, not going to um, have breakfast or coffee or anything like that. But um, yeah, so just make sure that if, um, I don't usually have a sensitive stomach or anything like that. I think there was something that wasn't right. Um, but be sure you pack Pepto-Bismol, you know, anything that you might need in case you do get some sort of stomach um, upset or whatever. Um, so yeah, no coffee, no breakfast this morning. Hopefully I can make it through, <laughs> through the morning um, without my coffee. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a great day. And guys, I had the wrong port. We are actually docked in Naples, but we're going to Sorrento this morning. I just can't keep track. So we are in Naples, but our tour will be in Sorrento today. It is a full day tour. Um, it's a bus ride out there. Um, I think a narrated bus tour out there. And then we'll have like an hour and a half or so for a walking tour, and then we'll have some time on our own there. So um, we are in Naples, headed to Sorrento. <laughs> Naples. My name is Carmine, Carmine, C-A-R-M-I-N-E. Welcome on this uh, beautiful tour to Sorrento, hmm? the town of the mermaids, Sirenas. That's what the name Sorrento means. From Sireon in Greek language means mermaids. Four castles in Naples and two royal palaces. Wait, that one, they pretend they want to drive here in Nana. <laughs> Mamma mia. It's a headache for us when he meets. <laughs> of um, environment and the place. Oh, they ain't gonna talk the whole time. But we saw literally by in. Alright, guys, so I know you heard me just say. I hope they're not going to talk the entire time. Keep in mind, this was an hour and a half drive to Sorrento. And yes, they talk the entire time. So I'm sharing this because please be mindful when you take a tour, especially when it's a narrated tour like this, to be mindful of if you're traveling with a family or with small children or even as a group, that you are respectful of those that are attending the tour, that paid for the tour, that want to enjoy the tour. Because even after, you know, we made mention of, you know, asking them to be quiet or other passengers kind of shushing them, they didn't care. They continued to talk the entire ride. So unfortunately, I was not able to get some of that narration, some of the uh, history and facts that um, our wonderful tour guide was sharing with us um, because all you could hear was, background noise behind me. So sharing this, please be mindful of those who are on the tour with you because we like to enjoy our tours.
So guys, I have to tell you that I was a bit nervous booking this tour, knowing that it was gonna be about three to four hours on a bus, but I have to tell you that the views going down the Amalfi Coast were amazing. So it's definitely worth it. It was a perfect excursion to kind of kick back and relax. So I definitely enjoyed this. Now, if you're looking to book a Mediterranean cruise or any cruise, definitely reach out to me at Major Adventures Travel Agency. I'd love to help you plan your next cruise adventure. Also something to note, as you're leaving Naples, if you want to catch these stunning views, be sure you're sitting on the right side of your bus. visiting a limoncello factory um, that is what they specialize here in Sorrento um, they said they grow the best lemons and limoncello is what they um, what they that's their thing here so we're gonna uh, check out this limoncello and try some samples and probably get some to take home just the machines, but in this factory we produce three different kinds of liquors. Limoncello, the original one, that's 30% of alcohol. The second one is lemon cream with milk inside, so a little bit less alcoholic and sweeter. And the third liquor is the strongest one in alcohol. It's like a grappa and it's 42% of alcohol. Now you can see the machines from the end to the start. This is the last part of the production where they wash all the bottles and air fill them with the limoncello and then it's ready to be sold. Now in this machine you can see the lemon skins that they use to make limoncello that now comes up, don't worry, that stay in infusion in pure alcohol for a week 10 days. After 10 days they remove the skins, add the sugar and water to this alcohol and the limoncello is ready, that's it. Hmm? Very easy. Inside you can see the skins. Thank you. We have also the cream and the grappa. Can I try the cream? Yeah. Thank you. It's really strong. Mm. It's really strong. But I like it with the cream. I love anything with cream. Yep, I think that's what I'm getting. Anybody want to test the chocolate? Yes, please. Dark with the coffee, dark with orange. Test one by one. Thank you. Sir, you want to test? Mm -hmm. oh, the coffee is really good. <laughs> Numero mm 6 -hmm. español. All right, I gave I grabbed the kids some limoncello candies without limoncello and then some with and a little bottle. Um to take home.
Okay. Now listen to the instructions. We are now in the Piazza Tasso. This is the center of the modern Sorrento. Like I was saying, this is the main boulevard, Corso Italia. The shops, okay, in the piazza. Here is the Paolo Bar, where if you like, you can sit, have a coffee. There are toilets downstairs. And here is the Giannuzzi Woodwork Factory, in case you want to see the stuff, the beautiful works inlaid by something there. There are also toilets inside. Down to the right side, you find more toilets. The meeting point for you, for everybody, whatever, whether you've come with me now to the viewpoint or stay on your road, is at 11 o'clock. <laughs> 11, right by the flags over there. Okay, it's very easy to read. All right? Even though Sorrento is so small, but it gave birth to one of the most important poets of the Italian literature that our kids study in the school, Conquanto Tasso, who lived there in the 16th century. Yeah. Andiamo. So as you probably heard this portion of the tour, we had about two and a half hours here. So you had the option of actually going off and exploring the center of Sorrento on your own, or you can follow the tour guide. We did follow him for a portion of our time in uh, the center of Sorrento, and then we did explore a little bit on our own. I'd also like to share that this excursion was not necessarily wheelchair scooter accessible. Um, there were very, very narrow streets that we had to walk to to get here that would not accommodate a wheelchair scooter. So keep that in mind um, if you have any accessibility concerns. another word of caution like I tend to like to do third-party excursions and things like that keep in mind with the drive back to Naples our tour guide did say that if you got left here more than likely you would not make your ship because you'd have to catch a train or a boat ride and it could take several more hours so keep that in mind I would say book an MSC excursion if you're going that far away from port So we're here in Sorrento, we're in the uh, middle of town, 
We have about an hour before we have to meet up for our tour, so we're gonna get some pasta. Um, I think my stomach is settled enough I can have some pasta. Uh, and how did he say it? Not Coca-Cola, he said hola hola. hola, hola. <laughs> and they put lemon in everything, apparently. Please. Yes, please. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Beautiful. Ready? Yes. Get this lasagna a try. It's good, but I'll be honest, like the pasta is really good. The sauce to me is very reminiscent of Chef Boyardee. I'm not being funny, I'm sorry. It is. Uh, yeah, it's good. I really love the pasta and the cheese. So it's good, just different. So yeah, I have to say, my first experience with pasta in Italy wasn't positive. And I, guys, I totally understand that they um, cook things differently. They don't add as many, you know, spices and things. It's like natural uh, tomato sauce, things like that. I totally get it. But I think our mistake was coming to this tourist area. Um, this was actually the first spot too where they asked for service charge. Um, no other place that we've been to have they asked. Um, so I think, you know, I, I wonder if the pasta and things would be different going to like a mom pa shop, you know? So I'll have to come back and check it out and see. Um, but I ate it, just wasn't what I was expecting. And guys, don't come in the comments about it either, because I know. <laughs> I'm in Italy, but yeah. All right, y'all, back on the ship. Guys, I am exhausted. My legs hurt, so I'm gonna find a jacuzzi to soak for a little bit. Um, it's hot out, but I feel like I need to rest my legs for a little bit. So um, let's check out the main pool deck. I think we're gonna go to the safari pool that tends to be less crowded. So finally up, I took about a two hour nap. I'm just feeling so exhausted today. Um, just all the movement, walking, not feeling well last night, um, but I'm up now. Something to note, MSC, they closed their buffets down. So we were, we didn't wanna go to the main dining room today. We don't have any more specialty dining. So we were hoping to have dinner. We were hoping to come here for dinner, but they don't open till seven. And I think I mentioned in a previous vlog that um, typical dinner time um, over here in the Mediterranean is like 9 p.m. For us, dinner time is like 6 o'clock. So we have to wait now for dinner here at the buffet at 7. Um, it'll be limited options. Right now I'm just munching on some french fries because I haven't really eaten much all day. So I'm a little hungry. So just keep that in mind if you're used to eating like around 6. You can go to the main dining room at 6, but if you choose to do the buffet, it's not opening until 7. All right guys, so dinner wasn't good at all. Um, there weren't many options at the buffet at all. But we're off to a show. This will be our first non-paid show on MSC. We'll see what this is about. All 
right guys, it's been a very busy day. I'm completely exhausted. It's like, I think I was taking for granted the C days, um, having an itinerary where our first day was the C day and we haven't had any other C day. I'm kind of missing that because having these ports back to back, not having time to let my body rest, um, it's, it's kind of tough. So consider that when you book a Mediterranean cruise. Um, but tomorrow we will be in Genova and um, we have an excursion that will take us over to Milan. So super excited for that. So be sure to stick around for that adventure. If you have not done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Have a lot of cruise content coming your way. But for now, I'm going to rest this body and prepare for our full day excursion tomorrow in Milan. I'll see you guys tomorrow.